you know and here we are so many years later and now we have more uh you know uh, another situation again that we have to go through where innocent people are dying uh land is occupied by the same people by united uh, kingdom and uh the united states that put israel in the land of palestine strategically the campaign about West, i led the I'm, media campaign listen, in this country it, against the iraq war okay so i don't you see are, you you I don't you see people the in the Middle ones, East as savages. You but what are I would one say of the is, good ones. But what I, I would say not, is... I'm talking about you. You're great. No, no, it's not about me You're being amazing. great. It's we about, love you. It's we'll about, love you. It's about the way Hamas behaved on October the 7th was like savages, like a pack of savages. It was the worst atrocity against Jewish people yes. since the Holocaust. There has to be... Of course. There has to be a response. They, and my they question should be you eradicated. Is, my question for you is, notwithstanding the history, Basim, what is the proportionate response? But I don't know, but there's no Hamas in the West Bank and they're still dying there. So what's your excuse? Wow, that's a good point. I don't point. have any excuse. That's a good point. The, okay, what's, what's your explanation? Sorry, sorry, uh, my earpiece went down. I, I, just, I don't make any pretense that this hasn't been a massive problem okay, what, 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 uh, between Palestine I, 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 and Israel I, I, yeah. going back to the mid-40s. We all know this, right? I, I, I'm, 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 yeah, 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 Pierce, 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 listen. I'm not saying that you're making excuses, but if you are adopting a certain point of view, mm. you have to at least defend it. I'm telling you there is no Hamas in the West Bank. What is, what is the excuse, mm. not your excuse? What is the excuse to kill those people? Mm. Well, it's, listen, this question of proportionality is one that... No, it, no, no, answer my question! Yep. I've been answering your question, you exactly. answer mine. It's actually not my job. Exactly. Yeah, he's, a, he's such an asshole, actually. Because he avoids answering these questions every single time he diverts. He did it with Muhammad Hijab as well. And he talked a lot more than Muhammad Hijab that he didn't, he didn't even get a chance to speak hardly. So it's interesting. And he even had the, the audacity to say, this is my show. Fuck you. Come on. To answer your questions. It's not. Okay, not your, not your job. Not. I, I, I agree with I'm you. I'm more it interested in you. Job who has family in Gaza, who's an Egyptian in the Middle East, right? I'm more interested in what you have to say. Okay, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I think Hamas is the problem, okay? Right, now, let's say Hamas is removed. Let's Hamas, yeah, 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 I'm agreeing with everything. Here's the thing, can you hear? Okay, so, let's say, for example, Hamas ceased to exist, okay? Do you hear me? Yes. Yeah, Hamas ceased to exist today. Now, right now, in Palestine, mm. in West Bank and, and, uh, and Gaza, 20% of Palestinians go through Israeli prison system, whether mm. imprisonment, whether uh, 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 interrogation, whether torture. And the rest of them, they live a life of daily loss of land, of homes, of life, mm. and they are, they are suffocated by this. So let me ask you something. If you are a Palestinian living into these conditions for decades, mm. would, you, would you sympathize with your oppressor or sympathize with the people who claim they resist them, even if they are terrorists. I have made I have made no secret that I think the conditions Palestinians have had to exist under are completely unacceptable. Yeah. I've said that for years. So the question then becomes: okay. How do you forge peace between two warring parts of that region, who for decades have approached peace, in my view, with mutual sledgehammers, with no actual desire to have peace? And I think it comes down in the end to great leadership. But and we, I, I don't think there's yeah, great leadership. Yeah, but, but, I don't think. Well, hang on. Let me make my point. I don't think there's great leadership on either side. Where is the Nelson Mandela figure here to come through all this Nelson, hatred Nelson, on both Nelson sides? Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Well, where is that Nelson figure? Mandela, N N Nelson Mandela actually have criticized Israel for being a horrible state. All of the South yes, African uh, yes, Americans have actually my point is, Israel. My, uh, uh, my point is yes. about how he how he responded to a country that was so divided. Is a, I, I is, a template, I I, is a template for how you I, get to peace, isn't it? Oh, he's 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 reaching here, and uh, um, the reason that that Mandela was put, if I'm not mistaken, here was put into prison because they considered him very dangerous because he uh, spoke against the oppression and uh, continuously even. Uh, had a, uh, a sort of a militia. He was a boxer even before that. So he was a fighter from the very get-go. And he wasn't put in prison because uh, he did anything wrong. He just spoke up again and, and wanted to get the people uh, together to realize what was going on. And, uh, you know, 
the apartheid, which is an occupation as well, you know, in Africa, in South Africa. And I think that, that you know, for Pierce to ignore that, he probably doesn't even know the history of it. It's kind of sad, you know. Uh, he's not acknowledging something that's really uh, vital and important. He brings up a name. How does that, you know, what aspect was he talking about? To go to jail for his entire life and, 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 and then come back out? Is that what he expects everybody to do? I don't think so. I, I, I haven't met Nelson Mandela, so I wouldn't know. Mm. But like, I, 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 there is a point, there's a, there's a very important point here. You know, I want to understand what is the logic of Israel carpet bombing Gaza. I mean, if there's a logic, if there's a good, if this will make Israel safe, I want to hear the logic. So if they continue bombing, what are they hoping to achieve? Well, this I think what, we, know what what we know what their stated aim is. Their stated aim is to eradicate yes. and wipe out Hamas. They believe Hamas no, are, yeah, living, but... are living predominantly in northern Gaza. They also are aware they're living amongst civilians. So it's an incredibly difficult okay. thing. As so, I said, as I said so, in my so monologue, so, 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 you know, it is so very, very so difficult to see how I, they I, do I, this I, without I, massive collateral if damage. I can, so if I can understand this correctly, basically Israel is doing this to pressure the Palestinian community in Gaza to turn against Hamas. Is that right? I'm sure that's part of it, yes. That's part of it. So this is exactly what terrorist organizations do, because terrorist organizations will have no chance beating a whole nation in battle. So they terrorize and they kill the civilians in order to spread fear and terror so they can turn against their government to change their policy or to resign. You have just compared Israel with ISIS. No, I haven't. I don't, I don't see any comparison between it's Israel It's going to be the headlines tomorrow. Piers yeah, Morgan, no, not, Israel is ISIS. Lots only, of only amongst people who weren't listening. Wow. The, the comparison. Well, so Bassem knows exactly what he's talking about. Pierce, obviously, like a lot of the people that are in this field, they, they're like him. They're biased. Um, they have a very limited perspective on what's really going on. And they just basically, a lot of these journalists, you know, they... You know, they support white supremacy as far as I'm concerned, the way I look at it. Um, and they uh, uh, support the idea of oppressing people. You know, it, it's a sad situation we live in, you know. Which is more apposite is ISIS and Hamas. They are both nihilistic yes, terror groups absolutely. intent on killing as many Jewish people and others as they can possibly kill. And you, you know, know I just want to take that a step further when, when they use that term killing as many Jewish people as they can. Uh, there's nobody in the entire world that can claim uh, that number one spot. Only America can. America has killed more Japanese people by using atomic bombs being dropped upon Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Hundreds of thousands of people died in that Uh and then, you know, if that isn't considered uh, an inhumane act, I don't know what is. And, and, and the funny thing is, here, here's the weird part about it. The same people that committed that horrific act of killing all those people, up to this day, there's still places they can't live. It contaminates the environment. They still, up to this day, say that they did that because it would end the war. And then... They're complaining now when other people are uh, using tactics <coughs> that aren't very, you know, that aren't playing by the rules. So it's just interesting how you have this dynamic and double standards that are set and it's just strange. Mm -hmm.